Hey, Chef Walker, and I just had a very heartwarming experience. So I'm meeting with my Platinum Plus Mastermind, and this is a high-powered mastermind of seven-figure, eight-figure, even nine-figure entrepreneurs. And it's, it's absolutely wonderful. It's incredible. It's one of the best things that happens in my life. And we just had this fun day, something I like to arrange for the group, and it's a way for us to meet and interact and build relationships when we're not in a conference room. So I put together this fun day, and it started off with some you know, some team building activities, some, some fun activities to get us all mixing together and working together. And then, because this is a group of entrepreneurs that, well, let's just say, but they know how to win. They like to win and they love to compete. So then we moved into some competitions. And even though they were silly games, the, you know, boy, these folks are competitive and they were competing all out. No matter how silly games are, they're all about winning. But then we shifted gears and we did something completely different. And then they had us build bikes. We, in our teams, competed by building a whole bunch of bicycles and then these kids showed up and we gave them these bicycles. I, of course, you know, have a competitive streak, I think as many of our group, do, as many of our group does. But uh, so we wanted to actually build them fast and, you know, quote, win. But, you know, it was pretty obvious pretty fast. We were going to have kids come here. Kids that don't have bikes, you know, like I, I, it's just sort of like heartbreaking. So what we had to do is pick up the bikes. They were not assembled. And we just had to figure out what was the puzzle so we could get the bike. It could work. It was, there was still this competitiveness going on between ourselves, against the clock, against the other teams. The, the effort we were putting into the competitive phase um, just went through the roof when we realized we were doing something for, for, for these kids. Immediately just, just click. I, I think even my face changed. I was like from competitive state to giving the, the best experience to the, to the kid. Just the realization of the impact that we're making on this child's life. And here we are having fun with this. I, I get goosebumps right now thinking about it. When those kids came out and we saw the look on their faces. We just started all applauding and started cheering. Those, I don't know, 30 seconds, I think we built, they realized that they were the superheroes. They were the, the stars of the show. Receiving a bicycle, I think she was eight years old, and getting a bicycle for the first time is gonna give her wings for her soul, like moments during her day where she can escape the poverty that she's in and ride free with the wind in her hair. On that bike, she can be whatever she dares to dream, but it will always be an expression of her in whatever stage she is in her life. You take something like, like a bike um, and uh, you know just, just the fact that you're out there pedaling around and you're getting exercise, just, just exposing the sport to a kid who might fall in love with it and that can change your entire trajectory. I mean, I built my entire career around a sport. I think they were blown away with the people helping them in a, in a very authentic way. Probably they are thinking, hmm, strange people care about me without asking something. So uh, for sure that will impact um, their life. For sure it will impact the people that they will know in the future. Probably they will build a bike for them. There's this little thing that happens that is not a little thing. It's the most important thing in the universe. That when stuff lines up right, um, the little guy's heads glow. You know, they literally glow. And uh, you know, seeing them there with a, with a pop and a cookie and their new bike and this glowing head, the best thing in the universe. So this is what I love about entrepreneurs. These folks, they are competitive, no matter how silly the game. And they're supportive of each other, but they want to win and they're competitive. But the minute those kids were involved, all of a sudden you saw nothing but just cooperation and inspiration and encouragement and team I mean, forget about team building. All you need to see is we've got these kids and we want to build some bikes for these kids. And all of a sudden, they came together and they were just working together. That's what I love about entrepreneurs. You know, and sometimes we as entrepreneurs get a bad name. People think we're just all about the money. But the, at least the entrepreneurs in my world, they're all about the impact. And, you know, in my business, we've actually over the last, I don't know, six years, five, six years, we've raised over half a million dollars for nonprofit. And it's like, I'm not anything special because 
Entrepreneurs all over the world are doing that. And that's what makes us special. We're in it for the impact. And that's what I absolutely love about entrepreneurs. That's what I love about this whole experience is we went from just fighting it out in these silly little games to all of a sudden there were kids involved and we came together and we built up some bikes for them. And it was absolutely awesome. So I'm Jeff Walker and I'd love to hear from you about the impact you're making in the world and how you're helping people in your business. Scroll down and leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, give me some reaction, and let's go get them this week.